Hello and welcome to Informatica's Global Customer Support Knowledge Base video session. My name is George and today I'm going to be providing a thread manager overview for the Informatica Test Data Management Data Subset for SAP product version 61D. Some of the discussions uh, we'll be talking, uh, some of the things we'll be talking about today is uh, what are threads, how do we create threads, start and stop threads, how do we delete threads, and what is a thread strategy. So what is a thread? A thread is a term used by the data subset for SAP product uh, that basically means that a thread is a background session. So you can have multiple threads defined, which means multiple background, session, <coughs> background sessions. So when processing a project, you can have multiple tables being processed simultaneously. Uh, we create the threads, uh, start and stop threads, and delete threads, and we uh, determine the thread strategy through the user interface called Thread Manager, and I'll be going through an example of this. But before we do the example, I just wanted to say a couple things about a what is a thread strategy. A thread strategy is basically de uh, defining each thread to as to how they process the table that is being processed through that thread. And uh, so you can have some threads defined as large to small, and other threads small to large. So if a thread is defined with a strategy of large to small, it's going to pick the largest tables that need to be processed first, and then go to the next largest, then the next largest, on down to the small. And the opposite is true for a small to large strategy. So if a thread is defined as small to large, it will pick the smallest tables first, and then graduate up to through to the largest. And what the thread strategy does for us is allow us to be the to use the threads in the most efficient manner to manner, <coughs> manner to uh, get as ma the maximum amount of throughput as we can. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So let's go ahead and access the uh, data subset for SAP main area menu and we do this by uh, putting in the transaction uh, get ST if I can type here get ST if I got get ST slash main and this brings us to the uh, main area menu for the product and you will see a folder called runtime well, let's go ahead and expand the runtime. And here you can see the project builder, the project monitor, the thread manager. Uh, the project builder is where we create our projects. And that was a topic of another video session, which I would recommend that you uh, take, a, take a look at. But we're going to talk about the thread manager. So we're going to open up the thread manager. And this brings us to the thread manager user interface. And you can see here there is one thread that has been created already. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create some more threads. And we'll do this by clicking on the uh, create thread button here. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it thread2. And we do the OK. And then we're going to create another thread. And we'll call it thread3. And let's go ahead and create one more. And we'll call it thread number four. OK, now we have four threads. And say we have a project that has been generated and is in a running state. So we can go ahead and start these threads. And they will go ahead and uh, start processing according to the thread strategy. And you can see the thread strategy on the right is being all of these high to low. Let's go ahead and change one of these thread strategies. Uh, let's see, uh, continue. Change thread strategy right here. And we're going to change it to low to high. 
and you also have the other choice of random. So we'll save that and we've got low to high and high to low. And let's go ahead and uh, start these threads. Now I know there's only uh, three available background sessions for this SAP client so uh, I'm going to only start two. If you were to try to start three it would not let you do that. So we start the thread by clicking on the start threads button. And I have a project called employee template example that is in a running state and you can see that a table has or a task has been uh, started here. And let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, and we looks like we had a problem with the uh, with the project because it's stalled here. But that's okay. I mean, if it, there wasn't a prod problem with the uh, the project, it would you would see these the tables popping into these threads, and they'd c continue to process until completed. So now uh, we have we've I've shown you how to create a thread, how to change the thread strategy for these different threads, how to start the thread, and we can always stop a thread by selecting that thread and clicking on the stop threads button. And that should stop the thread, and it is. Okay, and so now uh, the other the last topic we needed to talk about was deleting a thread. So let's go ahead and select this thread one and we'll go ahead and click on the trash can to delete the thread. And selected threads will be deleted. Yes, we want to do that. So we'll go ahead and click on the yes. And you can see that it has been deleted. And our thread two is now in a stop status. And the other thread three and thread four are ready to be put into a ready status if we had other projects to process. Okay, and that's uh, that's it for the uh, thread manager screen. There is uh, one other thing that we could talk about here that I should show you is the uh, turn auto refresh on. And basically what that does is just every so many seconds it's like clicking on the refresh button. So you can see the uh, current status of the thread uh, periodically without having to com uh, continue to, to click the uh, refresh button. To turn the auto refresh off, you just click on it again. It's like a toggle switch. Well, that brings us to the end of the thread manager overview. I hope this information has been helpful. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, so uh, you can you can contact us at supportvideos at informatica.com or contact us at our Twitter account. Thank you and have a nice day.